There's nothing I love to see more than an established manufacturer pushing their own boundaries and improving on the products they sell. Yamaha has been on a mission over the past decade to overhaul their lineup with new and exciting models that give ATV and side-by-side -side customers exactly what they've been asking for. Sometimes there's no reason to overhaul a model completely though. Giving a vehicle a makeover just for the sake of it is wasteful and may not actually result in better value or performance for the customer. If you really look at the industry though, there's one thing that drives manufacturers to change and improve products more than anything else, competition. For 2019, Yamaha is working on both ends of this spectrum. A few of their models literally have no competition whatsoever, while a few of their other models reside in the most hotly contested classifications in the industry. The sport ATV market has all but disappeared. At one point, it was booming, but now it's just barely holding on. And in reality, it's thanks to Yamaha that it's holding on at all. Yamaha is the only manufacturer making sport ATVs right now. Luckily for those who are still buying sport ATVs, Yamaha's current offerings, the Raptor 700R and the YFC 450R are still excellent ATVs that offer impressive capabilities and performance. For 2019, they each get a mild massaging in the form of two special edition models. Now, special editions typically don't include any major mechanical changes over the standard units. It's typically just cool colors and graphics and trick bolt-on parts. And that's exactly what we're getting with the 2019 Raptor and YFZ. They each get new blue, black, and gray plastics with accompanying graphics, and while looks are subjective, I think they look pretty slick. More important than the look, though, is the extras you get with the SE package. On the Raptor, you're getting a GYTR aluminum front grab bar and GYTR aluminum heel guards. On the YFC, you're getting the same GYTR front grab bar and a GYTR nerf bar setup that includes new adjustable foot pegs. These are things that most YFZ and Raptor customers add to their vehicles anyway, so they really do increase the value of the vehicles straight from the factory. Mechanically, the Raptor 700 and YFZ 450 are unchanged from last season, which may leave you asking, how can we say Yamaha is continuing to pursue the Sport ATV segment with only a special edition type update? And the answer is simply this. They have no competition here, so arguably Yamaha could get away with doing nothing. Instead, they're looking at ways to add some bling and a little bit more performance to give their customers more value. The next piece of big news comes to Yamaha's highest performance side-by-side, -side, the YXE1000R. This vehicle resides in one of the most hotly contested segments in the industry, and it has a firm hold on its place in this segment because it's the only sport side-by-side -side currently available with a fully manual transmission. But ever since day one, the YXE has been overshadowed, unfairly in my opinion, by the higher horsepower turbocharged units. Even with its highly efficient manual transmission, it just couldn't keep up with the vehicles that make 175 plus horsepower. For 2019, Yamaha is addressing this in a very similar way to how they originally addressed the same problem in their snowmobile division. Instead of offering a turbocharged model straight from the factory, they're instead offering a dealer-installed turbo kit for your YXE available right from Yamaha through their parts catalog. While there are no official numbers, the claim of a 60% increase in horsepower could potentially put the final number as high as 185 ponies, which would make the YXE turbo the most powerful side-by-side -side in the industry. The question we have to ask ourselves is this, will Yamaha eventually do exactly what they did on the snow side and offer the turbo kit pre-installed right from the factory. This is what would make the most sense to us, and it's what eventually happened with Yamaha's Sidewinder snowmobile, which is claimed to make, ready for this, 180 plus horsepower. Another interesting point that needs to be made relates to efficiency. We already know that the power loss through a CVT transmission is somewhere right around the 30% mark. Power loss through a manual transmission is arguably around 15%, which means a CVT-equipped side-by-side -side would need to make approximately 200 horsepower to match the rear wheel power of a turbo YXZ. The other important numbers we need to talk about relate to dollars and cents. The YXZ turbo kit retails for $54.99 US. It's gonna cost about 1,500 bucks to have it installed at your dealer, so that's a total of right around six grand. Add this to the price of a base model manual shift YXE1000R that retails for $1899 US, and you've got a total investment of around $25,000, which is actually cheaper than a Maverick X3 XDS Turbo R. If you're a sport class off-road enthusiast of pretty much any genre, Yamaha's got something to keep you interested. For 2019, improvements to their sport ATV lineup add value, while a potential 60% increase in horsepower to the YXE pushes it to the front of the class in the pure sport side-by-side -side marketplace.
It only takes two clicks to like and subscribe to our page where you can check out a huge variety of ATV and side-by-side -side videos just like the one you watched.